Happy Friday, Panthers. I'm Leo Cappuccino. And I'm Keegan Carey. Hope you guys have had a great week. We have lots to tell you. Stay tuned to find out more. We all know that schools need fundraisers to raise much needed money. Here is our new fundraiser that our student council has come up with. Oh man, I wish there was something I could give my best bro that was seasonal and on the cheap. Me too. My name is Boo Man, here to sell Boo Grants. For only one dollar, you can make your homies hollow. Wait, where are we helping here? Ch chill out, homie, you'll be helping student council. Buy and recess things without all the hassle. That was awesome! And only one dollar! Thanks, Boo Man! No problem, dogs. Boo Man out. Support the Student Council. Buy full size airheads for only one dollar. Boograms will be sold October 23rd through the 26th, right before homeroom. Boograms will be passed out on the 31st. Make sure you remember to bring your money for those airheads. The airheads will be available for purchase from October 23rd through the 26th. Has there been a teacher that you would like to recognize? If so, you're in luck. Our very own president and vice president of student council are here to tell you more. Hey guys, it's your favorite president and vice president from student council here with news for you. Student council is starting this new thing called Teacher of the Month. All you have to do is go to the library and vote for a teacher you think deserves to be recognized. And remember, that can go to any member of the staff. Speaking of the staff, we are ready for our Meet the Staff segment. If you like music, then you will love this staff member. Hello, my name is Miss Wineland. Uh, this is my classroom. I live here. Uh, and so I teach choir for um, first period. I have a seventh grade class um, that, that does choir that meets every single day. I also have an after school choir that meets Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, and so those are my two choir things right now, but I also teach general music. Um, and so if you come to my class, you play the guitar, you play the keyboard. We will do a lot of drumming and singing and dancing and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, I also am the musical director for all of our theater productions, and so this year we're actually doing The Addams Family, which will be November 2nd through November 5th, so come on out, it's going to be great. Um, but I get to be the musical director for that, as well as the musical director and also, well, musical direction for some of the productions at the high school as well, because now I'm teaching there too, um, as the high school choir director. So, um, I wear a lot of hats. Um, but come see me if you ever are like, I play the piano, or I think I play the guitar, or maybe I want to learn how to sing. All those things. Please come see me. Um, I live here in F1, and so um, those are the things about me. So there you are. If you guys didn't know, Miss Wanda will be married on October 20th. We want to wish her the best of luck with her adventure. She will change her name to Miss Bolesky, but for the rest of the year, you can still call her Miss Wineland. Thanks to our very own Mr. Nelson for coming up with our next segment. We strive to be the best and healthiest we can be, but we love to educate you on great new ways to do that. This segment is our new health tip segment. My name is Shen Strauss and I'm with Page Metal News. And we're gonna go around the school asking people how much like sleep is okay for them. Seven to eight hours. Uh, I'd probably say seven to nine or eight also. Depending on how much hours they spend playing Fortnite, I expect about like five hours of sleep. All you need is some coffee just to get up in the morning. I don't know. <laughs> like uh, eight hours. Eight hours? I don't know. Twelve hours. Uh, ten hours a day, at least. Uh, ten hours at least. One minute. I think a kid needs at least eight hours of sleep to lead a healthy life. Eight hours of sleep? Well, actually, teenagers need between nine to nine and a half hours of sleep because if they don't, it can affect their mood, their behavior, 
cognitive performances such as memory and decision making and it can also affect your academic performance if you don't get enough sleep. That was great advice. Make sure to follow all the procedures for staying healthy. And that's all the time we have for today. But before we leave, Zach West has a new way we can learn about the Dewey Decimal System. Have a great weekend. And remember, just two more days until fall break. See yeah. you guys next week. Fall break.